Hello everyone! Welcome back! Why? Oh, because the alert box is too behind things. There we go. Um, hello everybody! Welcome back! Thank you for those subs! Thank you! Thank you everyone! Oh wow, we're getting a... We, we have a hype train started. That's impressive. Hi friends! I am your friendly neighborhood Prax. Welcome to the channel. This tonight is our wonderful descended from the queen game. I've got some wonderful friends who joined me for this fun, fun time. Um, I will do the full spiel after they introduce themselves because they're my friends and therefore they get to go first, you know, polite things. So we're gonna start on my left, on the over, on my right, wow, I can't, <laughs> pro here, absolute pro. On my right on the overlay with my dear friend, Lynn. Lynn, hi, welcome, how are you? How we doing? Oh, excellent to play with everyone tonight. It's ah, fun, but uh, hey, I'm uh, Lynn, uh, Grimlin Art, which I wear, and uh, see if we uh, kill a man or not tonight, or some of us, and we'll see. You know, I, I mean, and, and if the FBI is currently watching this stream, hi, we're not actively planning current murder, we're just discussing historical assassination, it's fine. Um... <laughs> And then directly below Lynn on the overlay is our dear, dear friend, Kat. Hello, Kat. How are we doing? Hello. I'm doing okay. I'm so excited to be back. It's been ages. And I mean, this is a great way to kick off 2022. So I'm good to be here. Um, I'm Kat. I'm at Clerk of Cord. And uh, it's time to thumbs up or thumbs down. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, we'll find out. We'll find out. It'll be. It's just a question. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. And last but never least, hey Simon, welcome back. How you doing? How you feeling? Hi everyone. I am great. Um, it's a uh, uh, good to be here and good to be playing a uh, a for the queen type of game. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, uh, prompt based uh, RPG and tonight I am playing Marcus Junius Brutus he him <laughs> they told me it was like something about the Roman Senate so um, I chose a, a character that was at the Roman Senate you, you can't cool? be, you can't be Brutus why because Brutus is God. in the game and he's an important person in the game all right I'm gonna change my name to not Marcus Junius Brutus. <laughs> Hello. Hi. These are my friends. We appreciate. So we're doing them. the play? No, or we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we could. That could be an entire thing. I have that overlay. It's a different overlay, but you know. And we have a hype train. Thank you, Time of Gifts, for those wonderful gift subs. We appreciate them. We 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 appreciate all of that. I do. I do. Also, there are some um, emotes now. We've gotten fancy around here for those of you who are oh. joining us again. Um, I have to get some more. I actually have ideas for a couple more, but you know, that'll be a thing. Um, but this is a Descended from the Queen game. I wrote this particular Descended from the Queen game. If you want to check it out, you can find it. Did I use it? Right there in the link in the chat because I am fancy and have commands um, sometimes. But as it is a Descended from the Queen game, like for the Queen, it is rule um, card prompt based and uh, all improv based on those card prompts. Um, so we are going to start. I'm going to pull the rules um, out onto the mat in front of us um, because it's all cards, so it's a little complicated, mostly because for some reason Roll20 is auto shuffling things and I, you need to read them in order. Um, and then we'll read the prompt, then we'll have the prompts, then the setting, or well, rules, then the setting. So. Okay. So, we're going to start with. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This one, and I'll let Lynn read them, for, read it first. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
read these rules aloud, each player taking a turn. Then cat, we'll just go around. Yep. Clockwise. Make it easy. Shuffle hey. the prompt deck without the do you join the conspiracy prompt card. Place the Do You Join the Conspiracy prompt card in the bottom third of the prompt deck. When a player draws a prompt card, they have three op er, three options. Read it aloud and answer from the character's viewpoint. Pass it to the next player in turn order, saying, I'd like to hear your answer to this question. Ah, that's me. <laughs> Tap the X card or otherwise indicate the card is being X carded and draw another one to replace it. A player who receives a passed card may answer it, X-card it, or pass it the same way the original player did. The original player's turn is now over, and the player who received the passed card's turn will be over when they pass it or answer it. A player who answers a question card may do so as simply or as elaborately as they wish. Other players may make suggestions or ask follow-up questions. And the one who drew the card can accept those suggestions or answer those questions to whatever extent they prefer. You're muted. Uh, you're muted, clerk. See what happens when I have barking dogs? X carding a card does not end a player's turn. They draw the next card and continue. Players can also X card prompts that are drawn by other players or any other content that arises during the game. The X card removes content from the game and does not need to be explained or justified by the one who used it. Take turns answering, passing, or Xing prompts until you come across the Do you join the plot uh, question card? I was going to say conspiracy card, but. I mean, it is conspiracy, but. Yeah. When the Do you join the conspiracy card is played, each player answers the question in turn, and the game ends. Everybody understand the rules? Pretty much. Okay. So now we're going to recall all of those. Get rid of that deck. And then we have the setting. Because of course things are out of order. Oh. But Lynn. Rome, February 44 BCE. Um, um. You are all Roman citizens, members of the Senate, and witness to Caesar's reforms. Um. 
Oh, I did it in the wrong order. Oh well, we'll fix it. It's fine. Imperator Gaius Julius Caesar has been declared dictator for life. Actually, shouldn't it be Kaiser? No. Cesar, if you want to be specific. Um, okay. Fun Latin fact from your friendly Latin neighborhood Latin teacher. This is going to be a debate for those of you who grew up in England and therefore have some belief that the British actually know how Latin is pronounced. Um, <laughs> this is me saying, C is never a soft C. It never sounds like an S. It could see their ca it's either a K sound or a CH sound, depending on the vowel that follows. Usually, it's A and E, well, Chizar, because it's A-E is a diphthong, but E and I is Chi, and O, U, and A is K. Because this is a diphthong, it's Chizar, not Kaisar. Fun things. But read the, did you read the actual read the sentence? I did. Okay. But not everyone is pleased. Uh, that one wasn't read, because I read the other one right before. Oh, I see what's happening. Hold on. Okay. Um, so, but not everyone is pleased by Caesar, or Kaiser, Chizer, and his control of the Roman, Roman the Senate. And this is the one that, that's when you should have had the... You have seen the ravages of civil war and the benefits of this new peace. His reforms have brought him favor with the population. You, are you truly a supporter of this new Rome and the authority of Gaius Julius Caesar? That is the question we will have to answer. We will have to answer. All right, so here's... Um, I'm going to hide that one, and then we just have... There we go. That's an important thing. It was auto making those infinite. I'm just gonna shuffle these. All right. So, Lynn, you get to go first. All right. Prompt. Oh. I put it in your hand. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Bah. Uh, Cesar's wife, Calpurnia, showed you kindness once. Why do you still think of that moment? Hmm. I'll pass that one. I'm just going to put it. Just Can you drag and drop it onto the... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Which one? Ah, which one? Big one, little one. Okay, big, there we go. Yeah. I'll just ah. make them bigger. There we go. So we'll just have them there so people can read them. Yeah. Cool. So you're passing it. No. Oh. Cat. Not a Roman... Not born in Rome, which often comes with its own stigma, even at the rank of senator. And Calpurnia's kindness in acknowledging my mere existence. may have put a target on my back, but it was a kindness that few extended at that time. Can I ask a question? 
do. Do you suspect Calpurnia had an ulterior motive for that? I suspect everyone has an ulterior motive at that level. And perhaps knowing that those moments of kindness are often are, are rare um, and not easily overlooked or forgotten. Perhaps it was a maneuver to uh, look for me to look upon her kindly, fondly. I can't speak to her motive, but I can certainly appreciate the thoughts that might prompt such an action. Did she ask for any favors in return? Kindness. Not directly. Okay. I got nothing else. Not one. Same for now. So I think that skips me and it now becomes Simon's turn, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because it was your it became your Um so I can just draw from the prompt. Yep. You should be able to. Let me try that. Yeah. You owe a prominent senator a debt. Why are you afraid of what he will ask of you? Oh. I... My family is head of a very important um, wine-making operation. We're we've been vintners for time immemorial, but uh, I went into politics instead of continuing um, the the family tradition, and it's uh, sort of an open secret in Rome that I am still sort of working for the benefit of my family's business and. Uh, A a bad um, harvest. You harvest grapes for wine, right? There's not another verb for it. Yeah. So there was a very poor ar harvest a uh, couple of seasons ago, and uh, we we were uh, facing probably uh, bankruptcy, and. I met up with another senator and um, he engineered um, catastrophe, let's say, that befell our main competitors. And I live with the knowledge that one day for having completely ruined another family's livelihood, um, that he will ask something equally as destructive of me. And I'm starting to think that perhaps having a um, an attachment to the family business might not have been the 
best move for me as a politician? Yeah, that's a good question. Yes. Did you approach the senator or did they approach you? Um, I approached them. Well, I knew that this senator was linked to some shadier activities. There's, um, there are things that happen in the faraway provinces uh, that we don't really talk about. And I knew he was connected to all that. Um, so there might have been a fire that was started in that other vineyard and just destroyed everything. Might be that some fur-clad barbarians were seen leaving the scene. And it might also be that they were brought to Rome and left Rome on a ship, uh, his personal ship. And so it's not the first time something like that might have happened. You know, rumors of fell deeds. Um, and, you know, my family facing utter ruin. Um, I decided to take things into uh, into my own hands and I went to meet with them. I mean, worst case scenario, I would have gravely insulted another senator, but it just so happened that I was right. But I'm having second thoughts as to whether or not I should have been right. Maybe it would have been better to just be wrong and insult uh, another important figure than perhaps needing to do something as illegal and dare say immoral, unethical. I have a question. I is didn't do this, it. Mm. <laughs> is this debt and the nature of this debt secret secret or open secret? Oh, I think I'm trying to keep it secret secret, but I can't know for sure if he didn't, um, you know, leaked it to other people. Maybe some of my um, political rivals. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so we have a name, we'll call it Germanus. Germanus? Germanus? Germanicus? Germanus. Germanicus or Germanus? No, Germanus. Ooh, that, that's a very interesting point. I'm going to be a nerdy, nerdy Latinist here. So Germanus is the, uh, the, 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 uh, senator that you were... Yeah. ...who arranged things for you? Why yeah. did you go to a non-Italian, let alone a non-Roman, for this business? Like I said, there might have been some fur-clad barbarians that were brought in. No, I understand, this... but why did you go to them? Why did you not trust of your own kind? Why did you go to a foreigner? Because Germanus means literally German. I know. Yeah, so why did you go to That's the German? That's kind of why I chose the, the name. I went to him because I... it was said that there are things that happened in the faraway provinces that he seems to have a hand in. Okay. I just okay. wanted him to bring his hand closer to here. Okay. And now I regret it. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of selected the name 
like on purpose? No, I figured. I've just, you know. Mm-hmm. I make a note. Much easier to blame on barbarian mercenaries. <laughs> well, that's it. No good Roman citizen would torch a field. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, uh-huh. all right. Anyone else? Ooh. You have a personal family tie to Cassius. Um, Remember how I said you couldn't be Marcus Junius Brutus? It's because Brutus and Cassius are actually mentioned in here. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not Brutus. That, that's what my name says. Yeah, you're not Brutus. Um, so you have a personal family tie to Cassius. Why do you try hide this connection? Ooh. Um... Okay. Uh, because the tie is to the... My sister was Cassius's first wife, whom he divorced years ago for claims of... Um, or of course, there's didn't really... They just... Course. He kept the money that should have been given back to her. Why? Divorcing my sister was politics and preference. Problem, they were, their marriage was ended, it was fine. Keeping the money that belonged to the family, that is a, must be rectified. How did you manage to keep your. <sighs> How, man- how do you manage to keep yourself hidden or out of Cassie's attention in such a small um, click, shall we say, as I'm very good at hiding in the sitting quietly, not drawing attention. I attend the appropriate function. Polite, but never stay too late. Never make a scene. Never put forward any major legislation. Argue too passionate. Quiet face. Are there those who know who you truly are? Of your connection? Of my family name? Perhaps, truly. I mean, I make a secret of it. It wouldn't be. Novo. Honey. I don't make hauntings of it, and perhaps there are some hauntings on certain connections.
done with my questions for now, but if you need someone to rough up your ex-brother-in-law, I may know a guy. Up. I'm taking for every single I don't know anyone for that. Lynn. Alright, let's see, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, let me see. Oh, why were you personally humiliated by Caesar? Ooh. Well, I'm. I had to think about it. Other reasons, my worth, perhaps, but everyone thinks I'm here because of my father and what holdings they have. As you know, he has recently passed, and I have taken. I have been ushered into his place here. And. Doing one of the reforms, I spoke up maybe a little out of my place, and he used that against me. My greenness, my just noviceness here. said he knew my father and that I should keep my mouth shut. It matters that I had no, I did not have all the information on to say. How public was this? He used it in his very speech for, for that very piece of legislation. How oh, did... Ooh, I want to phrase this correctly. <laughs> Since that time, have you ever been invited to join any of Caesar's confidants in, in table or at game? I mean, yes, yes. I mean, just courtesy and all that. Who knows what they think? But, you know, my... We still have some power, and it's... We've been in this in these circles since my great-grandfather, so... Be rude not to. I mean, one... One stinging moment in the that it isn't going to change things. Did the tone and temperature of those invitations change? Instead of being what used to be friendly gathering, introduction, 
Perhaps new friends have turned old, nearly perfunctory. Yes, I noticed the invitations have been a little colder, but moods change over time and just have to weather it best I can. Lean times turn to wealthy times and just have to wait for those. It always happens. But you keep an eye on people that turn their back. Yeah, I have no more questions. Let's see here for now. Always get these kind of questions, don't you? I but I'm here I for know, it. I know. Uh, these are yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's, damn. Caesar knows of your affair with another member of the Senate. Why does he keep your secret? It's hmm. How do I put this delicately? When one who is tied by blood to Caesar and the appearance of true Roman manhood must be capped, it would be... Not in my best interest or Caesar's best interest for this affair to be brought out. Look, now I'm freely gonna admit I'm just gonna be gossipy because I know it can't be Octavian because he's too young and he's not in the Senate at the time. So, mm. ooh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's a very large family tree at this point. Mm, yeah, yeah, it hasn't gotten. We all know it's a little, not that bad. You are correct. Um. Mm. Does anyone else know of your affair? If they do, they have not in any uh, other than, of course, Caesar. Um, but if they do, they've not hinted as such. Although, looking back, I wonder if that's the reason for Calpurnia's kindness. there was an underlying motive. It's possible. She has never spoken or indicated of such. But if it could be possible. Given the gossip and the machinations of senators in the court.
We're very careful. Out of curiosity, what would you do if that secret was to be revealed? Mm. Would you say go so far as silence Caesar before he tells anyone about it? No, 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 no. Deny it. Our reputations are strong enough. It serves Caesar no purpose to. Oh. Expose myself or a member of his family. And I work to make sure that it continues to serve Caesar no purpose to do so. How, dis oh, how destructive would it be if the nature of the relationship were to come out politically? For myself, not so much as I am not of Rome, although I am of Italy. For The other individual involved, um, it is a weapon that may not be used against them, but against Caesar. So it could potentially be destructive. Oh no, I can't draw them ahead of time though. That would be ridiculous. Mm. Why does my family have a personal hatred of Cassius? <clears> hmm. <throat> Is it because he has a lean and hungry look? Um, you know what? I, I, I'm going to pass because, yeah, I'm going to pass. If you don't mind, I'm going to pass. Because he shamed our family and kept our money. Like, look. Yeah, but I, I wasn't <laughs> sure if I wanted to, because that would embark you in my family. No, I'm saying Thus, you're, you're passing it, correct? Yeah, I'm passing it. Okay, so you're answering it. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> because, okay, look. You, they were not married for permanence. The divorce was not a problem, but their property was their own, and the property was in her name, and she had the right to return with her property. And it's making him too much money. He funds his political campaigns with that piece of the sales of um, goods from that particular state, the trade route. Looking forward to taking every single bit of it. Would it truly beggar him? Or hurt him to lose that? 
Perhaps. That's, that's fingers and many pies. Not as many as his friend Crassus, but true, he does. But it would be a severe ding and major estate in Calabria. The various trade routes from the sea to Hispania and Libya. See, well, everything. Particularly with Pompey now. Uh, no problems with Pompey. There's currently no problems to be concerned about. Pirates aren't a problem. Therefore, more money, more rights. ships, power. And he likes the villa, and he put his mistress up in it, so, you know, there's personal vindication. Mostly the money. If you can't have the money, or can't get to it, would you be satisfied with sinking his political, taking out of him politically instead? There is a temptation there. Removing him in general from the Senate. Not like he actually does anything of value. Proposed legislation that actually has benefit. I don't propose any legislation. That's for my. when he was a praetor and proconsul, he didn't really do anything in provinces anyways, so thanking his political career yes. My turn, right? All right. Yeah. Let's see. One. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, your family has directly benefited from Caesar's political, uh, social political reforms. Why does this anger you? Well, that's pretty easy. That's because I hate to say it, but I was wrong. Things I opposed ended up being advantageous for my family, despite my protestations vocally <sighs> he said he knew better and apparently he did doesn't make me like him even though it did make my family rich richer What sort of fallout, if any, have you received from your family, knowing that you had opposed these reforms, but now that they've benefited from them? Or has there been any?
nothing straightforward. Just looks. Consider me lucky, but not necessarily making the right decisions. Even with all this, things are going our way, so maybe it's not. Politically, I'm doing well. Maybe it's business-wise I'm doing well. They try to coach me on that sort of thing. I smile. Be polite. Take that. Take their advice with a smile. Knowing they think I don't have the chops for this. But I do make them money, so. Here I stay. Is there a place you'd rather be? No, no. I've always wanted this. Studied for it. I did well. Did well in politically, political studies, but being up there is different. Being actually in the mix is different. Dealing with the personality that are there is different. As much as the situation wounds me, I can't think of any place else. Because there will be time. Has this changed in any way your personal thoughts towards or support or uh, antagonism towards Caesar? Personally? Personally. I can't stand the man. But the writings on the wall, Maybe he does have the right idea. Even though it took a little bit of my own hide to get there. My own embarrassment. Can't hate a man. F can hate a man, but... If he keeps putting money in your hand, how much can you hate him? Totally. I got a question. Don't ask me for money. You're not going to get my money. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm not asking you for money. But would you say it makes you angry enough to kill Caesar? Oh, that would be petulant at this point. But it would solve all of your problems. If we were to kill Caesar, what state would it put put this in? Right now, money's coming in. I wouldn't want to stop I'm, that. I'm asking hypotheticals. Just asking hypotheticals. I'm not saying I have a surplus of daggers and I No, no. Not the moment. Yeah. Things, if things, um, if things dry up, however, <clears throat> it's 
another story. That is all. Can I go back in the stack of card for a second? What? Hey, this is just this is so fast. I, I need to just I, is, no. I just need to confirm something. What? That, that I, it's what I, I think it is, right? What? No, this is a cat. Second. You were no, but cat was the one who had the affair with Caesar. No, with someone another senator. Another senator. Yeah. Another another senator. senator. Okay. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Another senator, and yeah. she's been uh her. Caesar's current wife, Calpurnia, has been a dear friend. I wouldn't go so far as to call her a dear friend, but... I mean, there are worse things you could call Calpurnia. <laughs> there were worse things that we did call Calpurnia. Um, <sighs> your mother was Pompeia, Caesar's second wife, whom he divorced after rumors of infidelity. Why have you always thought kindly of your mother's former husband? Because whatever fallout there was from mother's alleged infidelity, it didn't color me. And it could have splashed back quite easily. And uh, it didn't. And the question then becomes, is it better to be noticed or ignored by Caesar. And in this case, being ignored by Caesar. Um, the kindness in its own way and something that I appreciated. And again, Caesar does hold a secret, has knowledge, and he keeps that. Whether it's a card he'll play at some point, I don't know, but it's enough for me to think kindly of him. Hmm. How shortly after Caesar divorced your mother were you born? Just random question. I mean, we all know that some children come early. And some come late. Unlike wizards, they never arrive precisely when they need to. No. no. Well, it all depends on which calendar you're using.
consent. Same. I will not ask if you want to murder Caesar over this. So. <laughs> I will offer you this. My relationship with my mother is not a close one. Oh, no, wait. That brings me a question. We're circling back to Copernia again. Did Calpurnia know who you were when she helped you out? I have no doubt. Okay. I've known from an early age that my life is that of a pawn. Useful pawns tend not to be sacrificed early in the uh, in the game, in the match, and even a pawn can take a queen. Last question that came to me. Um, you have any siblings? I have siblings by my mother, and I have siblings by my father. Because I like to stir up in this. <laughs> I expect nothing less. You were showing up and helping me with this one. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> what was uh, what was your relationship with Cesarian? Tenuous. <laughs> I mean, but actually, I should, I should say, what is your, what was your, and then I guess the question, what is your relationship with your Octavian? Octavian is a difficult one. <laughs> um, Again, I am I'm a pawn. I play my part. I have to balance much. And someone called me a fickle. But I know ultimately who holds the power. For now. And therefore I dance that dance. Because I have more than myself to consider. I 
don't, don't think. Are you happy being a pawn? Would you rather slink back to wherever you came from, live a quiet life, or are you here? Why? Be someone else's thing? Tool? Have you been to the, well, it's not the wilds, but have you been outside of Rome? Have you ever had to spend time there? Yes, I have. The dullness of such a life I find stifling. Whatever it is that's inside of me seems to enjoy dancing on the knife's edge. Boredom doesn't suit me. I'm good. Yes. Same here. Why do I not fear Caesar's cruelty? I mean, I could say something, something hairy barbarians. Um, I don't fear his cruelty so much as... Um, I am much more afraid of the current situation that I found myself in to even think about Caesar. And right now it's been maybe blinding me to what's happening with the reforms. Um, as uh, I try to navigate the uh, political landscape to find an out to my situation. And maybe if Caesar offers it, I will accept it regardless of the consequences. Sort of like a, um, you know, out of, uh, out of the pot and into the fire type of situation. Um, I think it's, sort of too far removed from my current predicament for me to really think about it. Maybe if something was to happen closer to home, I could, you know, it could open my eyes to, to what Caesar's actually doing. Um, if, if Cat is, uh, thinking of, of being um, the pawn. Ah, crud, that doesn't work in English. Okay, so in French chess, the bishop is called the jester or the fool. So I would have made like a, a word play on, you know, the pawn mm -hmm. and I'm the fool, but now it doesn't work and I had to explain it. So that's it. Do you have any questions for me? I kind of ruined my own world wordplay. But yeah, so I don't fear it. Maybe I should fear it, but I'm not afraid at the moment. And I think that might be, that might put me at a disadvantage.
Do you even know that Caesar can be cruel? Or have you just heard the stories of his, you know, crucifying 150 pirates and 20 pirates and not even blinked an eye? Who hasn't read his diaries? Um, no, I've heard the stories, but I haven't had time to verify them. And so, you know, he, he apparently did something to, to a whole pirate crew, but are the numbers exaggerated? Was it really half a score? No, wait, a score is 20, right? 20 or 50? 20, 20. score is 20. Yeah. So, was it really a score of pirates? Or was it more like a baker's dozen pirates? Or or even less than that? And again, they were pirates. Yeah, no, but what I mean is, I think I'm okay with him crucifying one or two. To set an example... And the people that are saying, the whispers that are saying 20, this is just, this is just a sort of making seem like a, a greater than life figure. He can't be all that bad. Maybe if I had more time, I could get a clearer picture, but I can't. Because at any moment, someone will ask me to do something terrible, and I might have to flee Rome for it. Okay. You once witnessed Caesar's leadership on the battlefield. Why will you never forget that moment? Because for all that certain parties might want, scoff, and claim that things were exaggerations, that moment still didn't Caesar it's an exaggeration uh, I served with Caesar and his armies at in Gaul during the invasion Britain I saw the uh, siege city name Alcantara Oh, uh, um, it's not, uh, it's not Elysia, it's, um... Yeah, it's, uh... I, I'm, I'm reading, I'm, I'm on the Wikipedia page too, trying to find it, because I read Gatterix something here. about Person it. Person where do you hide out in the middle of nowhere? Elysia, yeah. Yeah, okay, so the fields of Elysia, yeah. Yeah, where he then, you know, starved an entire population, held siege, and then created a secondary wall of troops and murderize the fuck out of everybody um, it's striking and the man is a brilliant tactician and but also cold to his enemies in a way that is truly roman so he's not the first by a long shot Um, well, his great uncle uh, Marius and his father in law, Sulla, opened a bunch of doors there. Maybe there are multiple <laughs> familial ties there. Yes, I, I 
I served with the man. He is, he, his exploits are not exaggerated, if anything. His commentary and writings are somehow toned down, perhaps? Or, or he does not he does not boast, exaggerate his victories, but at the same time he does not he does not downplay them, but he does not They are what they are, I guess is the way. To... I'm still not fully convinced. I mean, maybe he did act in a, a, a grandiose way with the goals, but he wouldn't be cruel to his own population. It's exactly to the point I was thinking, these were not Romans. They were not Roman citizens. They not were yet. barbarians who were actively against becoming Roman citizens. I mean, they did kind of murderize his... Yes. And, but... My dear, not Marcus Junius Brutus, um, did you ever actually serve beyond the political sphere? Oh, no. I mean, no, wait. Didn't Rome have... They didn't have compulsory military service for a couple of years, right? No, they they don't have uh, almost two. I mean, compulsory Roman military service of Roman citizens isn't actually a part of since the Punic Wars, or even before then. I mean, it's recommended if you want to do well in politics, but it's not required. I, I think the way I see it, and now that's Simon talking for the character, um, I think... He would have done the minimum. I'm picturing right now someone who was born of money. Well, good, because you don't want to be a novo hominem in the Senate. New money, basically. New man. Oh, no. You're the first no. member of your family who... You're the first person in your family who has ever been served in a position to become a senator. No, I think it's more of a... Um... Well, I mean, the family was important in Rome, mm -hmm. was not necessarily officially into politics, um, but maybe that their, um, their concerns were maybe taken with a, uh, um, a bit more consideration than they would, you know, other citizens. So I, to answer your question, um, I did not serve. I have a question. You seem enamored by Caesar's tactics, fire, performance in the battle, leadership. How well do you think that has translated here, not out there, not against the barbarians. He defeated Pompey. He knows the people, the city, knows how to serve them. He, his men served not just because they must, but because they truly believe. Across the Rubicon, regions intact, did not flee or sacrifice his service. The people respect him, care for him. I think he knows what they want and how to get it. He knows that, much as some people like to deny it, people 
the mob are Rome. The defeat of Pompey is no small thing. Does that make him cruel? Cruel? No. Well, other things cruel. Some people claim him to be. I think he's good at what he does, though. You good? <laughs> no, I am. So I think, actually, that is perfect timing, and we'll take our break for the right as we finished this round right at 9.30. I could not have planned. That is just... Um, so we'll take a break, everybody. Stretch, refresh yourself, get yourself some water. <sighs> we still have more drama to go. And then we'll come back, and we'll see you in about eight minutes, everybody.
Hello everyone and welcome back. We are returned. We are refreshed. We hope you are returned and refreshed. We are ready to continue our drama conspiracy 44 BC. I believe it is Lynn's turn. Big right. selection. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> We're making a headway. You made me money. Caesar expressed his anger with you in public once. Why? And what did it, what did his, his anger look like? Yes, well, I certainly thought we were on the same page after all. Yeah. It is, uh, these reforms had made, were making, were making him popular. It was making us money. I think we were, I thought we were on the same page. And I may have misjudged the situation. I may have over, over, overstepped a little bit by being a little too forceful with suggestions and contributions. Maybe, maybe in the present company, it was it was not to be done. Or maybe he took it the wrong way, but I, not even for my father, did I get that much force pushed in my direction. I have heard Caesar's ferocity on battle is. I no one has ever talked to me like that ever not my father on my worst days I tried to remember to keep my composure as best I could but When the man wants to be, he is frightening. I just hope no one saw that. That was my question. Mm. Did someone see it? I mean, someone's... People definitely saw it, but I don't know if how much of that uh, anyone saw or what my reaction was. I would say yes, people had to hear at least some piece of it. Huh. Do you fear this will impact your credibility within the Senate? Speaking candidly, what credibility 
at this point. The man has embarrassed me twice. Made me benefit from my own my own ill decisions. So do you admit to being responsible? or deserving of Caesar's wrath. Of course not. That sort of wrath is said for your servants when they misbehave, not peers. You consider yourself a peer of Caesar. I speak that we're all peers, all here. Interesting. Yeah, those are words that will start, you know, a public argument. Or at least incur his wrath. Do you speak those words in public? Are you willing to stand on the temple steps? <laughs> Even if I did, who would listen to me at this point? To whom have you uh, drunkenly confessed your dissatisfaction with this arrangement to? I mean, and scorn and such, I'm assuming led to some sort of light of lost inhibition. whom did you cry your sorrow? Hmm. I mean, despite my standing i do still have my friends here and we've known each other for a while talk is talk and you can be excused by tongue being a little loose from overindulging sometimes can't take that seriously So yes, I did tell a few, but they quite frankly, they agreed with me, so it's on them as well, so. I mean, I'm not the only one that has been giving the uh, dressing down to as well, so it blows some steam somehow. I 
I have nothing more. The defendant has implicated themselves. <laughs> have a fifth amendment right <laughs> no Rome. no also people hey guess what bill of rights only applies in the united states of america yep and her territories not in any other nation sorry get yourself onto that consulate or embassy grounds and you're maybe okay yeah, but don't complain about somebody being that that people are yeah. being allowed to say something because they're their First Amendment rights and be like, y'all, they're citizens of a foreign country that doesn't have yeah, that First Amendment that's... right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Sorry. Side note. <laughs> In my head, I couldn't get rid of it. Um. Interesting notes. You're up, cat. Let's see where this let's goes. See, let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Ah, <sighs> you have a strong emotional bond to Brutus. Why do you resent it? Brutus was a fellow officer. We served together. Brutus betrayed me and others like me when he defected to Pompey. And yet, we were brothers in arms, and I resent that betrayal. I resent that bond that only exists between those of us who've stood on the battlefield together. Or is there? Except apparently I haven't eyelash caught. It's very simple. Does Brutus know of your attachment? In what way? In which attachments then? <laughs> Several. Ooh, um, both your romantic and your uh, uh, familial. Romantic? No. Familial. When Pompey is your mother. Uh, some things are difficult to hide. I mean. There are stories that are put out and obfuscations, but. Again, when you serve with the men, there are few secrets between you. And the current affair came after our break, came after his defection. So, um, I'm 
we tend to ignore each other by mutual consent. Find good reasons not to be in the same room or in the same area of a room, if at all possible. I don't think I have anything right now. God damn. Same for me. Right now. Yeah. Oh God. You witnessed a true moment of kindness from Caesar while in Egypt. Why will you never tell anyone what you saw? Ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because everyone else is themes to be intent on besmirching his name and calling him a a cruel, warmongering dictator for life. Some are saying he'll be the downfall of Rome, but... Okay, look, the dictator for life thing wasn't an insult. No, I know, but it still means that he is a... He's there forever, and he's apparently doing some okay, very yeah, bad reforms, but I don't think so, because of what I saw in Egypt. Which might actually, um, wow, rain. Um, it might also explain why I'm not in a hurry to try to see the cruelty of Caesar. I mean, granted, I am in over my head with other issues. Um, but the Julius Caesar I saw in Egypt when I accompanied him this is not the one they're making him out to be back in Rome. And I have to trust my own eyes. Is it just, you think whatever kindness that you saw, if you relate to the, were to relate this incident, this event to others that it would be a teacup versus the bucket of those who I think mentioned his was, I think if it was to be relayed the people that are against Caesar would find a way to use that kindness against them anyway. I have a question. Yep. Is this reticence to say anything, this kind moment about Caesar, have anything to do with how your... Um, Benefactor feels. How's he? I think his kindness showed me that
Um, in myself, of the issue of, of what's happening to my family, um, his kindness showed me that there are there are other ways to achieve things and like I mean it makes me feel even worse that I didn't think more and acted rashly to save my family's livelihood um, and that perhaps have I now that I have seen Caesar in action perhaps I could have just gone to him But then again, I mean, as far as the, the my benefactor goes, um, I do not think that I could bring that to Caesar and he would help. I think it's past that. But he's not as bad as y'all make, make him out to be. Come on. Give him some credit. I mean, he helped an elderly person cross the street. I mean, that has to count for something. I would love to see, like, Caesar and the entire entourage just stop for one person. And how much of a mess it would be. Spoiler alert. Fast forward to March uh, 15th, 44 BC. And there's an incident that occurs on the way to the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'd forgotten about that part. Little and I lady. wasn't that play. Literally, well, <laughs> not the scene in the play, but the actual event. There's a little old lady. No, but I think there's that moment no, the in the seer, play, too. No, the seer occurs earlier. Okay. The seer occurs earlier, but the little old lady happens on the way to the street, and she's like, what are you doing here? Spoiler alert. Anybody else got questions for the uncommitted? Ooh, uh, you saved Caesar's life once. How and why? Um, well, I served with in Gaul later in the campaign against Pompey, but posted all. But in Gaul, the invasion of Britain, he had jumped ships lead command saw the standard bearer had fallen to the Britons the young legionnaire had picked up the and carrying it disoriented Caesar had jumped ship and ran to him to grab the standard to lead it into shore rally the troops he was slightly disoriented he is a fine fighting man but even a man of peak of health can be disoriented full armor water and uh was focused on the standard on the eagle missed a Spearmen coming, chariots, heavy and backing handed. He uh, missed the spearmen. I uh, was lucky and grabbed the spear, came at him, 
pulled the uh, Briton off the chariot and. He's busy protecting the front from the other side with his weapon. Man is a leader in my general, and that's why I will always. why I defended him. Have you come to regret that? Not the action at the time. It was the correct action at the right time. Other things, maybe, but. In that moment, no. In that moment. You gain anything out of it. recognition, but no advancement at the time beyond that which I do rank in service and my own other military accomplishments in battle. But he remembered my name, which is been interesting trying to remain in quiet and in the back Senate meetings. Would you have wished for more? No. Do not wish for more than what is mine by. And I was given that. Does it worry you that? Caesar may catch a glimpse of you and remember you, call you out, there acknowledge is, you. There is some minor concern. The moment Caesar is surrounded, cared for, is sick of pants, fancy. Uh, draw his attention frequently. And those who oppose him at the moment I do neither. I have a question. You seem to have a great deal of esteem for the man and his decisions. Why? Why neither support nor... Nor are you... Because if I actually thought he needed my support in that moment, I would grant it. He doesn't. His reforms have passed much quicker without... He didn't need the additional votes. Senate itself voted him dictator for life after he denied the crown three times. That's what we're all aware of what happens when you deny something thrice. He he neither needed my my support my lack of support and harmed him in no way. All it did was protect me and prevent me from drawing attention to myself. I'm 
good. So far. Ah, oh, these cards. Ah, oh, these cards. They say that Caesar has been blessed by the gods. How do you know this is true? I mean, the fact that the man's here. All that he's done. The amount of push back the amount of things in his way and yet he's still here things that don't seem popular with the establishment here he's still here and that's why mm -hmm. I would ask but it doesn't make sense for the character I'm playing Um, mm, no, um, do you believe that? <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean. despite everything else, he's still a man, lucky man good decisions, all that. I mean, those things. People say that when you're on when nothing's happened yet. After all, you run across any setbacks and they stop saying that, so. Just had some good luck some good decisions but is it truly luck when it's maximus itself where's luck the intervention of the gods how do you know he's favored by the gods I mean, after all this, these talk of whether or not he's, if he is this fair, why are we here? It's just, should be. Voice of Julius Caesar at that point, if we're going to be talking like that. So if, if he is truly blessed by the gods, but also, anyway, as far as people are saying, cruel, do the gods condone his cruelty? And is that what you need? in order to get their attention. Is it just a toll in blood? What does that say of the gods themselves? Or is it more that he has the temples in his pocket? Who knows? I certainly don't. I 
I just care about the results. And the results are good for us. Gods can do what they will. I don't have anything else to bring. Just let my character like follow in their bitterness is fine. Just let... <laughs> <laughs> Look, you sort of brought that to yourself. The cards have been good. I like these cards. They're Brutus showed you mercy on the battlefield during the Civil War. Why did this shock you? It didn't. It didn't. As I said before, Brutus and I served together. And Brutus is not a cruel man. Misguided, um, indecisive. Some might even say easily swayed. But it didn't shock me. Have you ever conversed with him about it? Or is it one of those things that has been left unsaid? We've not spoken. Of it. Uh, again, we whatever relationship Brutus and I have had in the past is one that doesn't need to be acknowledged. It it existed within its time. And since then, we've moved apart to speak of it serves no purpose. I only have a stupid question in mind. I'm trying to skip it and go to something actually serious. Um, would you say that given what you saw during the Civil War, And what you saw of Brutus, I should say, during the Civil War. Would you say that he would have been able to do the things that Caesar did? And do you think people would speak of him the same way they speak of Caesar? No. Again, Caesar... Caesar knew himself, knew his mind. 
Caesar had no doubts, carried no doubts. His, his actions have never showed hesitancy or a questioning of if he was acting in what way that he saw as right or best. Brutus doesn't have that certainty within him, that certainty of self and decision. If Brutus were Brutus does not change his mind based on a consideration of new information or facts. Brutus changes his mind based on what is personally or politically convenient. Caesar does not. There's no doubt that Brutus could have accomplished a tenth of what Caesar did, for good or ill. draw mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. ah damn oh mm. Mm. how has my family suffered under the uh caesar's political reforms Out of quick curiosity, what were Caesar's reforms? There's probably a ton of them. Yeah, land reforms, paying the army the way the army stood. Uh, technically expanding voter rights um, on certain individuals. Um, redefine, slightly redefining the definition of a Roman citizen. Uh, Granting the so, opportunity of citizenship for those who are in Legion, who are not Italian. Sumptuary laws? Uh, no, the sumptuary laws come with uh, Augustus. Oh, okay. Because that's part of Augustus's reforms right. for, you know, we need to bring back the... Oh. We need to make Rome great again. Yep. Also, uh... Um... Basically, taxation. Mm -hmm. Mirroring, of course. It, yeah, like Coldrick says, the creation of civil service, establishment yeah. of the postal system, standardizing coinage. I mean, there's so much that's going on. Oh. Um, he basically created central infrastructure. Centralized yeah. infrastructure. Yeah. Okay, so... They, they su we suffered under his reforms because um, we made most of our fortune 
Um, mm, yeah, we made most of our fortune selling to um, the people outside of Rome. And would, I don't know if that's even possible, but we would sort of befuddle them through, you know, the different, nah, 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 nah. let me, let me, let me, let me roll back on that. Um, needs to be. God damn. Um, I might need help on that one. Okay. Because, I mean, rich family of vintners who were, like... A large number of people of the privileged classes really hated and it hated Caesar for the fact that he's expanding voter, basically giving citizenship rights to a massive... With of their the people. population. Remembering, of course, that the definition of citizen in Rome is severely limited. It's not quite as bad as Athens, where it's bloodline based, but it is extremely limited. You have to be male, you have to be Roman, and the definition of Roman expands over multiple centuries and generations. Oh, no, Cole gave me, um, yep. Cole gave me exactly what I uh, needed. So we had to let go of all of our slaves. And that the family could have been okay had it not been for the bad harvest. Financially, this would have ruined us in the sense that while the business would stay afloat, our competitors would take up uh, vast swaths of the market that we would not be able to to supply due to our very poor um, production for that year. And my family was angry at this. However, I wasn't. because it is reminiscent to what I saw in Egypt. Of something that Caesar did, not unilaterally like he did here, but in a way, it was the right thing because these people are, for the most part, the vast majority of Rome. They are the builders, the tillers, the people without who we wouldn't have anything that we have. Now, they don't deserve as much as we do because we, of course, you know, have done a lot of work over the years. But they deserve more than nothing. And the family suffered a lot because of the reforms. The reforms and a bit of other factors, but I think it makes, it makes my family angry at Caesar for what he did. And here I am trying to like save things and, and it's not working. Has oh, um, has your voting record in any way impacted your family's uh, opinion 
you know, have, did you did you vote for these things in spite of your family? I abstained from those votes. Because while part of me thinks that it is good for the Republic, it can't be become common knowledge that I voted against family's interests. Um... And I'm also the first member of the Senate in my family to be, like, in that position. Oh, that's right. Your new money. No, the family has old money. But no one has any political incline or inclination. Oh, no. It, um... Mm. Your old money, but your new Roman... Yeah. Mm. Did you or were you under any pressure from your <laughs> benefactor to vote one way or the other? Um, because until up until the event, um we never had any relationship. Germanus and I. Um, so his his opinion never really mattered. But now that this has happened, to sort of answer your question, from the very recent past to now and to possibly the future, yes, it will impact what I vote for. Good. I'm good for now. Why does Cassius resent his family connection to you? If he knew who I was, because he probably resent the fact that want our money back for it. and that unappropriately took when he divorced my sister um but he'd also probably resent the possibility that certain marital details might be released in public not that i Is the problem Cassius how does your family's relationship with Cassius with your personal animosity towards Cassius how much of that influences your support of Caesar, or it, do you separate the two? The support of Caesar is because of Caesar, <laughs> not in spite of Cassius. I think Caesar is worthy of support in his own right. The fact that I get to spite Cassius is merely a side benefit.
I have nothing else. Okay. Same. All right. Oh. <laughs> Love the trauma in this game. <laughs> oh. Caesar has protected you in the past from political rivals. Why do you resent him for it? Does the man think I can't fight my own battles? I have to be bailed out at every turn. Thinks he knows better what I what what's best for my family. Forms were good against my better judgment, and keeps me around. I'm sorry. Are we talking about Caesar or your father? It seems to be a lot of. <laughs> Daddy issues between tied oh, up Oh, this, this poor, this poor. <laughs> How well did your father know Caesar? They were friends. Always oh, spoke well of it. Father always oh, spoke well of him. And now I'm in charge and I still can't make my decisions. Funny. Nothing else on that. Yep. No, not not at the moment. <laughs> just a whole lot I mean, of daddy it's, issues. It's a lot, yeah. it's just a lot of like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Brutus again, I cannot get rid of this man. The cards are. I, it, this is better right. than a cold reading deck. Yeah. yeah this you is know, like, this is... It's like, what about Brutus? Huh? What about? Yes, Brutus. We, we don't, Brutus we don't talk about Brutus. Yeah. <laughs> we try not to talk about Brutus. Brutus aided you once. Why do you cherish that memory? I. It all comes, it, it just keeps coming back to Brutus. He showed me mercy during the Civil War. He, we fought together, we bled together on campaign. Uh, Brutus aided me more than once um, to 
pull out a single memory is difficult. For all that, and I cherish every memory of our interactions. But I cannot forgive him for the betrayal. Exactly. How close were you? Not as close as myself and a certain member of the Senate. But there is a closeness that comes with going to war with someone. We were fellow officers. And that is a, a special bond, a special friendship. I cherish those times. I cherish those memories. But as I said, I cannot overlook his betrayal. All that we were fighting for, he discarded. And as his his behavior, his actions since Pompey's defeat, Joe's, we cannot trust him. I would never. A man who has betrayed a friend once will betray him twice. I, I got nothing. I'm trying to... to... Mm, mm, mm. Would you return the aid if Brutus asked you if he was in the same position you were before? I consider our, our accounts balanced. Okay. I... Prudus showed me mercy on the battlefield, but I did not take advantage of that by striking back. Our books are balanced. Okay. All right. Again with cards. Egypt? I know you. That's a wow. very. It's a very important trip. Very very formative. I mean, yeah, Egypt was probably the um, a pivotal moment of my life. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, Caesar did a great kindness for you once in Egypt. Why can you never repay him? Um, bought me a 20. No, um, I think I can. So, how can you repay the man who's in charge of the world? Like, there is nothing that I can bring to Caesar that would be sufficient um it's not a question of you know him doing something for me me doing the same thing back for him it it doesn't really work like I, I in no way will deify Caesar. Uh, and I do not believe, like I said earlier, that he is really a chosen of the gods. The, these things are, I don't know, beyond the ken of mortals to know, really. But at the same time, he is the most powerful man in the world. How can you repay the most powerful, the man who has everything? There is, yes, yes. Can you not repay him by vocal public support? By being an advocate for his reforms? By speaking out against those who oppose him? Yes, but... <laughs> um, I mean, as far as uh, speaking about him in public, uh, th th that's something that I did before. Do again, it's just normal. It's not anything out of the ordinary for me. Now, as for not... Well, that might be the answer to my question, really, if we get down to, like, pragmatism. But I can't really be an advocate for the reforms... Because family, family, blah, blah, blah. And I can't really... <sighs> agree with everything he says if Germanus is not really into what Caesar is bringing. So there are, you know, changes... There are projects that maybe it would be a way to repay my kindness. But at the same time, as a member of the Senate, I would be expected to do what is best for the people of Rome. And right now, I'm probably failing at that, too. Um, my hands are kind of tied. But I'd rather hide behind the you cannot repay the man that has everything than to actually say my life is complicated i am mired in corruption and also simon needs the brb sorry okay so even in game i'm running away from my problems <laughs> <laughs> are we sure he's not marcus tunius brutus Yes. Yeah, yes, like, we are. <laughs> I mean, Brutus unfortunately doesn't run away from his problems. Part of his problem. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. He'd probably be in a much better position if his mother wasn't sleeping with Caesar, you know. 
Yeah. Just throwing these out there. I mean, that's not actually true, Cold Drake. Not technically true. He 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 was assigned as proconsul in Gaul. He, you know, the Senate did that. He didn't actually get to pick. He just got it and then took advantage of certain situations that occurred while he was in Gaul. That that's a different issue. But he was technically assigned there. You know. And look, for those of you who know, I just I have M&M's, so my life is better. Hashtag not sponsored, but if Mars Candies wants to sponsor me, hi, I'm here, I'll... I'll... <laughs> I have no shame. I'm wondering how many Girl Scout cookies I have left in the freezer. Mm. I bought four boxes from Troop 6000 this year. I, we might have got a little bit more than that, but then I have a niece, so. Yeah. Oh, for those of you who don't know, hashtag not sponsored, but if you're looking for somebody for a Girl Scout troop that you can't happen to find one in your nearby city, in nearby town or local area, might I offer supporting Troop 6000? They are New York City's um, women's shelter, women and children's shelter troop, and they, all of their uh, they, they, they are all the girls that go through the, uh, the shelters in New York. Also, if you're out of the U.S., um, find a friend because you can't order through the Girl Scout website if you don't have a U.S. This is true. An unfortunate address. truth. But... No. Yeah. Um... Anyone else have any questions for our dear not Marcus Brut Junius Brutus? I believe he's suggested that we move on. Okay. We can move on. God <laughs> damn. Um I'm so glad I didn't get that one. I know. I'm trying to like, oh no, but I want to do this. <laughs> By the way, I have officially decided uh, the character I'm playing, his name is Varenus. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, <clears throat> my dear beloved Pulo, um, book four, chapter 45, go read it. Of guy of uh, Caesar's Gallic Wars. Go read it. Um, Alicia was a mess, but was not the biggest problem. I. I do not blame Caesar for my threat that Caesar could not prevent more because of he, um... Mm -hmm. Um... He... he... He put the wrong man in charge of a winter camp, and, uh, instead of being an intelligent commander, um, made poor decisions in battle and in defense. And, uh, decided to abandon the fortifications Leading the entire luggage train across Gaul towards another commander, instead of fighting in, def in defense as he should as a good Roman officer, he ran and made poor decisions, many of them, 
I regret that Caesar was unable to remove him from his command. That led to the death of Hmm, I have a question. Do you have any inklings whether or not this decision, rather than being a strictly military one, was a precursor to a political one? He was a the commander? The son of a senator who had been placed in command by the Senate and one of Caesar's legions. Caesar did not choose them. But he had to make do with it. Yeah, what he had. So you blame Caesar for an incident that could have just been something that happens in war, something that happens to soldiers. It was merely what happened. I, I do not blame Caesar. Um, it was not his fault that he was burdened with such a commander, forced to deal with such a competent. I do regret that he was not capable of, in that moment, removing that competent commander. Hulo's death in general, if it had been on the battlefield, or defense of Rome, or even conquering territory, would have been acceptable. The choices we make going to quote I, Deirdre, I'm going to quote another very famous uh, war series and say there are two types of officers murdering officers and killing officers <laughs> killing officers are poor dumb son of a bitches who will get you killed by accident murdering officers are those who will get you killed for an ideal cause a bad choice and decision on a battlefield the individual that Caesar left in position of power was a murdering officer, not a And yet, you ultimately blame Caesar for that. I blame that he did not have the political power at the time to be able to remove such as him. So this is not irrational. Are any of such things huh. irrational? I suppose not. How much does it weigh on you that what happened there in war will happen here? Everything happens somewhere. Death comes for us all. None of us are immortal. Good. 
Should I? Should I draw? Right ahead. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. What the? Oh, there you go. <laughs> your family was subject to Sula's prescriptions, but you were saved by another family. Who do you owe your life to and what have they asked you for return? Um, I might need a little help with that. I don't... My brain is mush. Uh, do you want, like, the background? The historical yes. background? Yes. Yes. So, Marius and Sulla are basically the precursors to um, Caesar being a single ruler in Rome. And mm -hmm. Sulla comes in after Marius. Um, they were both part of the Punic Wars. And to because Sulla declared Marius, you know, a traitor and all the people that supported him traitors, he created what they called prescriptions, which the literal definition of prescription means to be right upon, mm -hmm. to be proscribed, um, where he made giant lists of people who were declared to be enemies of Rome, and anybody in Rome could kill them and bring evidence of their death to the government, and the government would then seize their property and a portion of it would go to whoever killed this enemy of Rome. And you had about 12 hours, usually you had about, uh, officially had, you officially had 24 hours to get out of Rome before when your mm -hmm. name ended up on this list. It didn't actually work that way. Some of these lists, people knew who was on the list and advanced and, you know, Crassus apparently made a shit ton of money by doing this, among other things that Crassus did to make money. Um, but... Yeah, like, if you were prescribed and you didn't get out of Rome, anybody had the right to kill you. It was a great way to snatch power and property. Yep. I would also like to point out that Sulla is the only person of, like, what we as modern Americans would call a dictator of Rome. Not the dictator as it was used in Rome, but what we would define as a dictator. Who lived long enough to retire out to the country with his vineyards. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know about that one. I I'll pass that one. I don't I don't know like I You're gonna pass it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is where things get complicated. Given my maternal parentage and my upbringing outside of Rome in the Italian provinces, get caught up in webs as families are almost fluid adoption marriage and I was fortunate enough to be adopted when the family names that I was tied to by birth, if you will. Again, there's, there's no evidence for my existence. If you were to look at the records, 
My mother died childless. And I was fortunate enough to be adopted into a family that saved me from the prescriptions. It would have been easy enough to, at that time, it's, it's difficult. It's complicated, it's complex, it is a lot. But let's just say that I owe my life to another family that adopted me. And what they have asked for in return is that I remain a friend of Caesar's. It's complicated. And in a way, not that hard. I do have fond memories. Or I can't say I have fond memories of the man, but I hold a certain fondness for him in that um, he allowed my mother to live. Um, and his third wife again showed me a kindness. I, he holds my secret. I I'm bound. to Caesar by oath by love and so if I wish to not there could still be repercussions of my birth. It's better to stay who I am and support Caesar. this be a choice you would have made without that prayer to support Caesar? I'm a veteran of the legions. I come from the provinces or my life is bound to the provinces. Caesar's reforms in of themselves standing isolated from all that my life is and all of the oaths and have been good for 
myself and for my family, my adopted family. So yes, the men that served under me, it's done them well. And we've prospered in the provinces. I believe in what Caesar. Not, let me put it this way. There is an argument to be made that a ruler limited by their time of service is unable to enact long term change programs and perhaps having someone in charge somebody perhaps Caesar is dictator for life will allow for the changes that he's made to continue as opposed to be undone by the next person who thinks differently. I got nothing else on that. Uh, I wasn't really there. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Sorry. A little bit out of it. While your family may be patrician, you haven't been wealthy in... Uh... Okay. Um... Let's, let's say that some time is uh, fairly recent. Or you can pass it, uh, your choice. No, but I like, I like this idea because the question will be answered with yeah. what I think is going to happen. Okay, go for it. Um, because regardless of what I, the very, very bad deal I did, I made, um, who's to say it's not going to happen again next year, next harvest? And with us being forced to pay our uh, workforce now, um, that's a lot of money out of the family coffers. And mm, wealth that we now realize was precarious. And I think what's going to happen, um, and that probably started but hasn't, affected me yet um is that they will do everything to keep appearances but it will be increasingly um apparent like we won't be dressed in the finest silks anymore we it might be noticed that uh, the family reuses some of their clothes, the clothing more often than not. Like, I mean, back then you didn't have like, an extensive walk-in closet necessarily, but you also didn't prance around town with the same clothes you were, you wore 
yesterday and that were maybe stained and you're trying to hide them because you don't have the money to maintain all of your clothing. Same with the house, the villa, same with just about anything. And I think it'll be a slow, it's a slow decline. That might change if, you know, the gods are, um, um, uh, um, benevolent, but otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much done for. Yeah, forget the second villa in Sicily. That's not going to happen. Um, and, uh, yeah. Unless things were changing rather drastically overnight. Mm. Or unless I decide to stop being afraid of Germanus and maybe speak my mind, or if I get Germanus on my side, but I'm not there yet. Okay, side note, I love the fact that you, you pronounce that not German, he's just a germ. And now Wait, I have, like, garbage pail that? kids stuck in my head. It's not Germanus? Germanus. Oh, okay. Germanus is also be spelled. I don't know, because it's German, so... Yeah, it'd be German, Germanus. Germanus. Oh, Germanus. Germanis is second declension, dative or accusative plural, but that's not what called, or dative or ablative plural, but German uh, Germanis is would be spelled differently. It'd be I N. G E G E R M I N I S. Or U S, depending. Wow, language. Sorry. I have a question. How much open opposition has there been from the family? Wondering why if you're up there, why hasn't stuff gotten better? Um, I don't think it's the whole family, but I don't think I also know exactly what's going on. Repeat your question one more time. Oh, I was wondering if there, if there has been pressure in the, in the lean times. You're in Rome. Has there been any open opposition found? Any complaints? Um, or then verbal? A very, very vocal uh, head of the household. Um, but aside from him, it's hard to get a bead on what the others think. Um, but I mean, you don't want to lose all of your wealth, do you? It just stands to reason that they're probably in agreement with father. Um, I am my own person, but I still have to Keep the family in mind. So there, there's been some pushback, but I don't know, maybe if someone was to scratch a bit deeper, you could probably get different opinions. Uh 
So is okay. that why certain <laughs> rumors of connection between you and certain old young ladies of wealth have discussed and sent I mean, if you're talking about the fact that my family is suddenly throwing all the children uh, to whatever wealthy bachelors are available, um, maybe. Because we're still in that like sort of transition period where all the other families who might have petitioned ours for marriages... Um, we said no, but we're still in that period where if we turn around and say yes, they will think that we're doing them a favor and that we're elevating them socially. While in reality, we're just, I don't know, throwing darts everywhere and see if one of them lands on something. Um, because the thing is, what's important to the family is that we keep, like, our name and our business. If we get absorbed into other families, then it's the end of us one way or another. Question, if I may. How mm -hmm. much of your family, including your Father, no ma knows about your deal with Germanus. Do None. they know? Do they know anything? None. I mean, so considering that father is about 60, he's very, very yeah. old. Um, and not really able she's not able to maintain the, 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 the vineyard or two. Like everything, everything is taken care of by other people. Um, but he is still the elder of the family, and thus we still have to heed whatever he has to say. And he knows best, right? Um, so nobody knows, because if someone was to know that that we succeeded, the, we didn't succeed despite ourselves, but we succeeded because of... I mean, maybe maybe in public they would disapprove, but in private they would approve. But I don't want to risk it. So I didn't tell anyone, which is another problem, because if Germanus comes to collect and I have to disappear all of a sudden, it's kind of hard to explain to the family why. But, you know, I might be sent to, like, oversee some far away settlement that he owns for some reason. closely related to Caesar. How do you hide this relationship? I'm gonna pass this one. Remembering, of course, that you can continue to pass. Oh, this is... Oh. Hmm. I like this one. Yeah, this is. This just adds on top of <laughs> your daddy or, issues. Yeah. This, <laughs> oh, it's like, yeah, let's just closely relate. Let's just. I don't know how necessarily that would fit, but I want that. I imagine it's very much. This man was a. Uh, 
somewhat overbearing presence in like as far as family like i don't know if like uncle or like something like that i mean he could be your great uncle really easily yeah yeah great uncle That means but that you're... it's a big family tree, big okay? Family tree. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I like I like this. Just like guess. Why do I hide this relationship? It just reinforces that I can't do anything on my own. That I don't have the head for this that I need to be lifted along. They, I know they don't say it to my face, but that's what they think. And if that, this comes out that I am getting preferential treatment, Great embarrassment. It makes all my opposition just seem like petulance at this point. And that's something I can't recover from. Other than it sucks to be you. Oh, it sucks to be the 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 the, the spoiled rich stuff, like powerful people. It sucks. It's horrible. Yes. <sighs> yes, and yes, nepotism. Yeah, yeah. This 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 person's riding high on the So how much do you hate your cousin Octavian for being the perceived heir to Caesar's? Well, Everything. It, oh, it 100% just gnaws. It's like, he's trying. It's not working out. He's trying. I'm trying. But yeah, we'll add that to the pile of things that I resent. Sure, why not? Let's. I got nothing else on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neither. cat damn it okay it's not a game unless i do that uh caesar owes you a debt why have you never called upon that debt um because to draw caesar's direct attention to me um puts me that much closer to death um you know it's best that Caesar owes me a debt in that Caesar did not seek my mother's death when he could have. He set her aside. He divorced her. It could have got a lot worse for my mother, which means I would be here. Um, can't exactly point that out. So, yes, that's why I've never called upon that debt.
Is that debt financial or? Mm. No, that the debt that I owe Caesar is my mother's life. What does the debt that Caesar owes you? Oh, Caesar owes me owes me um my life. That's that's the debt. I, I, um, eh, eh, okay. The debt that Caesar owes me. I owe Caesar. I owe, um, my debt. Hmm. Um, let's just say that my fellow senator, the one that I'm very close to, um, that is also close to Caesar, um, it's, it's so complicated. It's so complicated. This web we weave. Caesar owes me a debt in that, but Caesar does not know that he owes me a debt. I cannot call upon that debt because I kept it hidden. Or if not hidden, at least it was I mean I may or may not have removed a few people from, you know, those opposing his reforms. It doesn't have to, it's complicated. It's complicated. It looks, it, I don't know what else to tell you that it's com except that it's complicated. I have done things for Caesar that if he knew about them would put him in my debt. But I cannot call upon him to repay that debt because it would draw attention to who I am. Much like in your case, sometimes it's better that you not be known. Call attention to yourself. Pe uh, people know who I am, but they don't know who I am. And there are enough middlemen, cutouts, the shell game that we play. Let's leave it at that. He owes me a debt. I can never call upon it. All right. Would you, would you want to call upon it, though? Was there a moment where you thought that, damn, I wish I could? Not 
not enough to risk the fallout. There have been times when it would have been very advantageous, very helpful to call upon him, but not to, not at the risk. I can't imagine ever having that moment. I've argued philosophy with Cassius and Brutus before, probably in Egypt. Why did these debates make you respect them more? Because they felt more approachable than Caesar. They, even though we did not see eye to eye on everything I could never ever have the same conversations with the Caesar and their approachableness felt like they were in a way closer to us closer to um almost down to earth in a way. Um, and they had some very interesting points. Um, but yeah, as far as, as respecting Cassius and Brutus for uh, as, as much as respecting them goes, uh, it has to be the the fact that despite everything they did in life, I felt I could still treat them as equals. They haven't done as much as Caesar has, of course. They are not the person that Caesar is. But I think that's why I might have enjoyed those like long nights of half sober, half drunken debates that went on into the uh, wee hours of the morning. Now, what Cole doesn't know is that one of them might have actually led to the burning of the library and we might have put it on Caesar's shoulders, but... Nah, it, it's it's something that I think not consciously, but subconsciously, I think it's something that is starting to make me think that maybe we need a leader that is a little more down to earth. And you know what? I'll, I'll just go ahead and, you know, stab myself with a knife right now, um, because might as well. In one of said long nights of, of discussion, I may have let slip the Cassius what the deal that was made with Germanus. But I don't remember.
So you're talky drunk, is what I'm hearing. You don't argue philosophy if you're not a talky person in the first place anyway. Some of us do it sober. Oh, it starts sober, but then, you know, you're just... You finish a cup, and then there's another, and another, and you don't realize it. At some point, you're, you're just hammered, and thinking that Plato was nothing but uh, a talking duck or something. So, it wasn't their intellectualism, or their... So... I think I expected that level of intelligence from both of them. I think going in, I'm not going to say I was starstruck, but my expectations were at a certain level that, you know, you, you hear about what Brutus has done and you figure not everyone is someone like Brutus is. And I would have actually been, you know, surprised, shocked even, if Brutus had proved to be nothing but a brute. Haha. <laughs> um, but the fact that I could converse with them on topics that you will not debate with just about anyone even on the senate floor made me think you know it, it's yes i was let's say i i respected them for their intellectualism more than i already respected them not really but they did confirm that they were the type of person you could have these conversations with and not necessarily have to fear what you were saying. Or what the consequences would be. Um, because I think I remember there was one senator who said something in public and got a verbal lashing from Caesar. Something like that. Like, I mean, it's not cruelty, but it just goes to show that there are some topics you avoid. With the most powerful man on earth. Then I mean, Cassius and Brutus won't amount to anything in history, so. Oh, yes. As question as intellectually stirring as is. Would you do it again? Do you do it again? Talk with them. Um Converse I with them philosophically. I would if I were able to. Um now pause, correct me if I'm wrong, but they do not spend their entire time in Rome all the time. Brutus and Cassius? Um, yeah. No, but a majority of it right at the moment. Okay. So, I would say I did. I did meet again with them. I will in the future. The only thing reining me back is the perhaps lack of funds? You do not just go knock on their door to hang out with them. There's a certain decorum. Decorum that I might not be able to necessarily have. I mean, as far as personality, behavior, demeanor, all of that, you know, that that's fine, but... I 
I'm somewhat limited in where I can be seen and for how long. So. And. Wow, can I throw all of you a question? Of course. Would Cassius's behavior toward me have changed? I have no idea I've told them. But has his behavior changed around me since then? Mm. Mm. Yeah, take that. I'm going to say yes. He's but been yeah. seeking you out for opportunity. That's true, because now he knows that, like, you're in a tough spot. I think you would fit well within his plans. He's been buying you drinks a lot. Oh. <laughs> I accept them if only for, you know, to save his face publicly. I'm not doing it because I am uh, a little low on, um, was it drac drachmas? What was the money again? Drachma? I have dinar, and that's not the... Dinari are, are drachma are Greek. Dinari and, Dinarii and Sestari are the two Roman currency ah, okay. values. So the most common values. Anyway, I don't have all the money. Not enough uh, not enough of that sweet, sweet weird profile face of a human being on a denari. Well, it varied based on who was emperor and who was consul. I don't know, but that queen looks like they just hammered someone's face in it. Anyway, some of the older ones are better made. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, absolutely. That's actually part of how they can date them. Because it also has to do with the that. percentage of various yep. um, metal, precious metals in the coin. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, so to answer your question, I have to accept them, especially if we are out in the open, uh, somewhere public, because you do not refuse a drink. Less so from Cassius. Um, secretly, I'm just going, all right. So I don't have to pay. But... From time to time, especially when maybe there is a, a big enough crowd around, I will offer to buy him a drink. How does it feel every time he turns you down and instead buys you around? I will have to say relief. Because... I'm aware of the precarity of my situation. And if I were to go around and spend frivolously, when the hammer will eventually fall, I'll probably be the scapegoat for my family. You know, if they, if they look at all the expenses that were made. I, mm, yeah. I'm relieved. I'm, I'm curious. Are you the oldest oldest child, the oldest male, or are you simply the one that's left? I am the oldest child. Uh, I am not the only one that is left. We are two left out of the seven that we were. The seven siblings total. Uh, but we were apparently um, cursed with 
five daughters and two uh, sons. Afflicted, I should say. I think that's the word. Not to the Romans. They didn't care. I mean, if we want to keep, if we want to keep our names, yes. No, women could inherit, and you could oh, adopt. No. Oh, they could. Oh, I didn't know. Yep. Oh, then yeah, there's no yeah. Forget my patriarchal toxic message. Yeah, it, it Roman. Oh, then Roman in that women case. had a shit ton more power than people remember. There are hmm. people. Yeah, no. Uh, then yeah. Uh, okay. Well, th then yes, I am. In my mind, ever since the beginning of our game tonight, anyway, it was that seven of us. Uh, me, sister, brother, and then sister, sister, sisters. There were two more. Um, one was still born, and the other died after like a month. Um, and so I went and uh, was really interested in politics. And because this was seen as something that would bring the family the most prestige, uh, I was allowed. And my brother w ended up taking over the vineyard from father. Oh, because I want to stir this just a little bit more. And you mentioned you it. So, um, how was your react, you know? What is your reaction to the fact that there's been a recent conversation about a uh, possible wedding between one of your younger sisters and your Damn. Wait, wait, repeat that. You've just received word from your dear loving father that there has been a betrothal arranged between your third youngest sister and Germanus. Mm, mm. Oh, he approached the family. Oh, exactly. Just... Possibly a debt to... Mm. Well, hmm. It's interesting. Because now I need to know if Germanus is doing this as a way to embed himself into the family. Maybe to keep a closer eye on what he thinks might be his investment now. Um... Or was he someone who was trying to petition my family before? Because he's from, well, he's from far away. I mean, he, he. It's, but you weren't that important until. Yeah, it, it's, it's. There were other families that would have there were definitely yeah. local families yeah. that were a lot better yes um but because of our situation i will say that yes it was accepted and that might galvanize me in the future in the near future um because well if he asks me to do anything dangerous uh I can use my sister as collateral. You know, until the wedding is actually officiated and everything. Look, I gotta save my skin. I'm playing a coward. But yeah. Last card. We all get to answer this question. You have been approached by Marcus Brutus and Cassius Longus. Longinus, excuse me. Um, 
Do you join the plot to assassinate Gaius Julius Caesar? And we'll go around in the same order. So we'll start with. Oh. I think in a long line of bad decisions, everything just kind of builds to a head. And I think I am going to join just this is a bad combination in this in this person this is this is yeah resentment daddy issues will make you do really dumb dumb stuff <laughs> despite it being possibly most of the stuff being good for the family yes I'm going to have to make my own mark on things and join this plot Certainly going to make a mark on that toga. Mm. Um, no, if for nothing else, then my lover, who is related by blood. And when these things go down, it tends to spread. Um, a plot to assassinate a member of a family, especially Caesars, rarely stops with one person. And I have to protect them. And I've always been a supporter of Caesars. I'm going to ask a follow-up question here. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything about the existence of the plot? Yes. I can't go to Caesar directly, but I do do my best to send word. Vice and Biscuit did. coming to the Senate that day. I join in. But I'm probably the guy in the back of the crowd. <laughs> like like when when everyone you know um uh denounces Caesar um I might be the guy at the very end of like the whole hub hub that just goes like, yeah, moral, your moral support can make that's, everyone yeah, get that's in the it. Thing. Yeah, there we go. That's it. It's <laughs> mostly because that way I can claim plausible deniability that I was there in case it would go against, you know, families. Um, I brought my dagger, uh, but I couldn't quite reach. I mean, what dagger? Da a dagger? I, yeah, no, I, I didn't. I, I so. I didn't push I the dagger it. into Caesar, but I might have pushed a guy who was behind the guy with the dagger. And sort of like through, you know, sort of force of momentum. Um, but yeah. It, it, it... And I don't think that in the future I will necessarily... Um make it known that I was there. It's... Unless it saves me of a difficult situation. Um, but, yeah, 
No, I definitely joined the plot, not for the right reasons. Uh, mostly out of sheepiness. <laughs> um, but I do. Oh. I do not. And then I will both take this advantage to pull a Cicero and denounce the conspirators on the Senate floor and make a point of using this as an opportunity to get vengeance against Cassius at the same moment. <laughs> I will pull a goddamn uh, Cicero against the Catalines. I will cite Cicero. I will stand in the middle of the Senate floor and say, why is this man still a senator? He is plotting murder. He is a treasonous yeah. asshole. <laughs> Look, if you want... I, I, I think my character is going to full on do that. Like... Mm -hmm. Not not just only denounce the 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 try to stop the assassination, but denounce it and use it as an opportunity to try and. You gotta you gotta get. Get Cassius. Yeah, get yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Vocal Bear supporter time. here. Bo Bear vocal time. supporter. Yeah. I might have yawned about four hours into the six-hour speech as you were going through this, but. Look, I'm not pulling a full Cicero. <laughs> like a half Cicero. <laughs> I'm not going to do three six-hour speeches on how evil <laughs> Catalina is. We all had to sit through that once. We don't need it. But yes. So. Did we have fun? Yes. Very much. Thank you all for joining yeah. me in this fun, fun time. I thought it was thematically appropriate to have a little bit of fun today and you know kind of get back into some uh ttrpg streaming which will be coming <laughs> it's always too dangerous to go full cicero yes because caesar has just executed him i would like to point that out or no he's no he's not executed yeah. yet well i don't know we don't know if caesar made it or not i could have Failed horribly in my denunciation of, of uh, you know, Cassius, and somebody stabbed him, or I, you know, things went wrong. We don't know what happened. Um, and that was pushed, just like, just that, just did it. Man, was just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're gonna go around in the opposite order, and I'll go last. Um. Share some, uh, where we can find you, what you're doing, all those good fun things. Um, sh shill for yourselves, and I'll try and shill for you as well. You can all drop links in the chat because you are fabulous people. Um, we're going to start directly below me on the overlay with Simon. Hey. Is you. Hi. Hi. I'm Simon. At Wondering DM on Twitter. Wondering underscore DM on Twitter. But not at Wandering DM on Twitch anymore. Uh, you can find me and find the rest of uh, our great group, the Wandering Society, uh, at twitch.tv slash Wandering SOC. Uh, we, so there was a lot of things that happened recently in my life, uh, but we are reprising our regularly schedule of shows starting this Monday. Uh, well, it's actually going to be uh, this Tuesday with tomorrow on Revelation 3. And then Thursday, Sentinels of the Multiverse comes back. Uh, Friday, we are still playing the Dresden Files in our spare change campaign with the intro video finally done. Um, and uh, on Saturday, we're playing Scion. Now, there will be a few things coming up. Uh, so this month, I am teaming up with the Opera Geek with Kelly uh, to raise funds for the MS Foundation. Uh, so uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, multiple sclerosis is a very, very horrible disease. 
uh, and uh, the people that live with it also live with uh, enormous uh, uh, medical costs. Uh, and so to help alleviate that, uh, we're raising money for, uh, for the MS Foundation. Basically, all of the money that I make through the month of March, where, uh, whether it's through bits, subs, uh, stream loots, what we, the, the trading card game that we use, uh, for um, uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse. This all goes to the MS Foundation. Uh, and then in April, um, there will be another thing. But I don't know if I'm allowed to talk to uh, about it. Yeah, so keep your eyes out. Um, but I think that's it for me. Yes, for now. Yeah. Thanks for having me, by the way. Thank that you was for fun. Coming. Thank you. Uh, it's been it's been a while. Oh yeah, I will also feature on another stream called uh, Witcher's Witcher Roads Home. Yeah, that's in like. I don't know what that is though. I I I, I have no idea what the Witcher is. So that'll yeah, be fun. We'll, we'll talk about that at the end. Cat, uh, <laughs> welcome. Hi, um, I'm Kat. I'm at Clerk of Cord. Um, this was a blast. It's been way too long. And thank you for having me here tonight because I missed all of your lovely places. And um, yeah, this is a, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm a Roman history geek. Um, I have, I'm not streaming all that much um, or on a lot. Uh, I'm in a sh uh, shadow run 6E with the lawful geek on uh, Thursdays at, okay, let me do the math here. Um, it's 7.30 UK time. So 2.30 Eastern on Thursday afternoons. Um, we are on a short break right now as we have just finished an arc where my human sorcerer was able to get revenge against the man who destroyed her life. Um, and not the, that's not the GM. He's just the one that orchestrated the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we're on a short break. Uh, we should be back either at the end of this, at the end of March or the beginning of April um, to start our new arc. But if you enjoy um, Shadowrun um, and that kind of corporate dystopian cyberpunk stuff um do come do come check us out i always tweet when we're gonna play um other than that i'm not doing anything really all that much on stream um i tweet occasionally i lurk a lot in various discord servers and um that's pretty much it yeah but you know check you out because you're fabulous thank you uh and uh last but certainly never least uh lynn my dear Ah, there we go. Wait, oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Thanks, thank you for having me play with you all again. It's been a while. Um, yeah, um, I'm Lynn, uh, Gremlin Art on uh, pretty much ever Twitter, Twitch, and uh, you can find my art there. And you'll find me next on um, on um, you all here for our um, for our Redwall campaign on the Amphitheater. I play a little like Archer Squirrel. And on Wednesdays, on uh, Fall Black Cats for uh, Hex Crawl Spy Game Campaign, where I get, get to actually play a su successful assassin. That's right. And on Saturdays, you'll see me on Scion on um, the Wonder Society as a Katsune. So I should be fine to get back into that again. Excited. All good things. All things you should definitely check out. Speaking of checking things out, hey y'all, we're gonna, we're, we're, semester is under control, we're out of January and February, I have figured out some scheduling things, so now we can start back up with some stuff. Next Saturday, we're going to have another one shot, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern, um, with some friends on the other side of the pond, um, because there are some people that we wanted to, I wanted to play with who are, like, time zones are a thing struggle um but two weeks from today we are back with our witcher roads home 
there is some drama, there is some people who may or may not be people who were thought to be dead who weren't actually dead but other people don't know that they're not dead yet so there's still a lot of things going on with the plot to murderize the wild hunt um there's there there and some people have met a couple new friends i don't know how healthy those one started are. a math empire to fund a camping trip yeah <laughs> that's some camping trip that's some <laughs> empire building because he, he did that in like he, a he weekend. Did that in Twelve hours. Um, yeah. When you crit your alchemy rolls <laughs> obscenely, you you take over a criminal enterprise pretty much, um, or at least the production scale thereof. Uh, we'll be back with that. Um, if you haven't caught up yet, there the link to the YouTube is in the vo the vods are all up on YouTube. Check out the, check them out also all on a playlist so i make your life easy um we are coming back with mechton starblade battalion seeds in three weeks i want to say yes i did math because when pb comes back but yes in the near future so that's a thing to be on the lookout for because a lot of we had some some very interesting drama emerged from those solo episodes wouldn't you say lynn Family things happened. Family things happened. And then somebody called an orbital strike on themselves. And lived. But. That happened. So if you want to check those out, the Mechton series is on, um, also up on YouTube. Um... And a couple other things might be happening in the very near future, so uh, keep a lookout. Um, cause, and check my Twitter, because I always post where I'm going to be and all the fun, wonderful people like these fine folks that I get to hang out with. Um, we should send some love and raid over. Um, we're going to go over and uh, send a, send a let's send a raid over to our, our dear friend Johnny because you know we haven't bothered him in a while and it's Sunday night we need to go bother Johnny. <laughs> but um, take care everybody and we'll see you. Bye.